it's Marion from Life Unboxed and today we are going to be making a crock pot meal. We have pork chops, sauerkraut, carrots, and little small gold potatoes and some spices and I'm going to show you exactly what they look like right in just a minute. And um, if you're new to my channel, I thank you for stopping by and I hope you're enjoying these cooking videos. And to my tried and trues, I do hope you are also enjoying these cooking videos. I want to shout out to my friend Ruth Ann. She gave me this really pretty shirt when we met in uh, Hershey Park. And um, it's really very comfortable and it's very Halloween-ish. So I'll be wearing this um, when we go to um, New Jersey this weekend. So I thank you again for y'all stopping by and um, hang in there in just a minute and I'll show you the ingredients we're going to use for this crock pot meal. Okay, we have our trusty crock pot right here. We have our honey gold potatoes. We have our boathouse or bathhouse carrots. Frank's sauerkraut, some garlic powder, some bay leaves, and the main event is the butcher box, butcher box pork. There's four, um, whoops, there's four chops there, and I'm going to sear them up in the um, cast iron frying pan. So, again, there's our uh, main ingredients and hang in there for just a few minutes and we'll get started. Okay, we are going to start. Oops, oops, rolling. By lighting this correct burner and we're going to put it on medium. And I've got this new Pampered Chef garlic parmesan oil that I am going to try out for this meal. And just see exactly how well it does. And I'm going to get these pork chops out of the package. I'll be right back. Okay, these pork chops are a little bit, still a little bit frozen but that's okay. They won't be once they get cooking up in this pan here. Oh, that does smell so good. Mm -mm. Oops. All right, I'm gonna let them sear for a few minutes. And I did put an apron on, you can see. I don't want to splatter my new shirt. So, as soon as these sear well enough, as you can see, in that nice oil, I will be back and show you our next step. So, while the pork chops are searing, I am going to get the crock pot ready. And I'm just going to add in the sauerkraut. About that. I'm going to turn this on low for right now. I'm going to add. Ooh, I might have to ask my strong husband to open this for me. Yep, hold on. Okay, my strong husband opened the sauerkraut. I'm going to add the whole jar with the juice and all. If I can get it out of here. I thought I was prepared, but apparently not. All right. Put this in here. Sauerkraut you now has a lot of probiotics in it. So it's very healthy and very good for your gut, your gut health. I don't think I'm going to use the whole jar. I think I'm just going to use half, half of it. And 
put that rest away. And I'm going to take you back over here while I turn over the chops. Let's see. Oh yeah, boy, if you could smell. If we had smell-o-vision, that would be awesome because these things smell so good. We have a, I'm going to let them sear for a little bit longer. I think I'm going to put on some garlic's already in there, so I don't need that. I think I'm going to find a little pepper here and put some pepper on it. Yeah. And then in the crock pot here, let's go back over there. Okay. Right where the sauerkraut lives right now, I am going to throw in a couple of bay leaves. And I leave them whole because once they're finished cooking in uh, the sauerkraut and pork chops, I will take them out because they, if anybody gets a hold of them, it could be a choking hazard. So I don't want that to happen. All right, so mixing that around the lid on it, turn it up high, and when the chops are done, I'll add in the carrots, and I'll add the potatoes lastly, probably about a couple hours before the meal is done, because these cook up really easy. Okay, stay tuned, be right back. Then I did add some butter onto the top of the pork chops. I just wanted you to see that I added some butter to the top of those chops. Yeah, give it a little more juice and a little more taste. All right, be right back. Okay, I turned them over once more and I'm gonna let them cook there in that juice. You can see that juice there and the butter and um, the natural juices from the pork and the uh, oil. So I'll let them sear for a little longer and then I'm going to add them into the um, crock pot. And I already added the carrots into the crock pot. I didn't add a whole lot because we're not big carrot eaters here. But it does add color and a little flavor. All right, be right back. It looks like they're getting to a nice sear here. This one I had to switch to get a little bit of a sear on that one. So the other ones look pretty good. So we'll be putting them in the crock pot in a few minutes. Okay, as you can hear, the sizzle is really nice. And look at that nice sear that we've got on on all of these now. So it's time to add them to the crock pot. So let me bring the crock pot to us over here. Get rid of this butter and carrots. And we'll just slide this little baby over. And it's starting to get warm in here, I mean in the, in the crock pot. So, we'll just add them one by one. And I'm just gonna leave them right on top of all the vegetables. And just because this is so flavorful, I am going to 
add this juice right to this meal. There. That is going to be such an awesome, awesome meal. And in about six hours, it will be ready to eat. But before I do that, when I get ready to add the potatoes, I will um, show you. And then I'll show you what it looks like in there. All right, be back in about four and a half hours. Okay, so this is about four hours into the cooking process, and this is what it looks like. And we're about to add in some potatoes. I'm just going to add a few of these potatoes in, and um, I'm going to let them cook. And um, then they will be ready, uh, this meal will be ready to eat in about probably an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, we'll be back with the finished product. Our meal is completely cooked and I did turn the uh, knob to low and I'm gonna throw together some cornbread and then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, here is the finished product. Potatoes, carrots, pork, sauerkraut. Now we're going to get the final word from the taste tester himself. Okay, here comes the taste Ooh. tester. Dang, it's it's very, right yeah, it's very uh, tender, right. which is good. Let's cut it a little smaller first. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay, mm. so we got some potatoes there. We got carrots and cel uh, celery. Sauerkraut. <laughs> mm. My babe doesn't like celery. Good? Good job? Delicious. All right, good. Wonderful job. Okay, so that is our cooking show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget to hit that little bell. That'll notify you when I upload another video. And most of all, don't forget to be kind to one another. It is a rough world out there. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.